In today's video, we're going to go through how to persist data into the AMJCR. In this example, we're using a custom format action that uses uh, out-of-the-box AM components and then allows us to submit the data. So for example, let's take a look here. We can see we have a simple form. It's got a name field, a position field, office, age, date, and salary. So we'll change this to Chris Blue. And then we'll change the salary to um, say 70,000. And then we'll click submit. So that now it's uh, submitted. I haven't configured a thank you or redirect page, but that's not really part of this use case. So we'll go to the um, to the employees and see our new nodes there. So there we have we see our um, new node, Chris Blue, seventy thousand, January twenty nineteen. He's an employee. So we've seen our data has successfully been submitted through the custom form action and now is persistent in the JCR. So if you're looking at your um, form and the form components are not visible in the side rail as shown here. So here we can see our different form fields. In this example, we've used um, text field for most of these fields and then just a form container. And the form container, one of the things to note about this is that we're using a custom action. So when we click the wrench icon, we go to under advanced, we can see a custom form actions available um, in the drop down. But if you're not seeing any of the form components here, what you need to do is go to the editable template on which this page is based. So to do that, we can go to templates. We can go to um, open up the content page. Go to layout container, click the policy. And then underneath properties, scroll down to the form category. As we see here, it's selected. Click this, click the chuck. And then um, your form, will, form components will be available to your page. So the last thing to cover before we conclude this video is notice in the custom action, the form, we have a uh, sling folder here. Underneath we have post, post JSP. Here we're capturing all of the submitted form fields. And now we're instantiating um, an employee interface that we created in the OSGI bundle. So that's obviously lining up with our interface here. So always make sure that you're um, specifying the interface, not the implementation class. And then we're invoking its add employee data. So we'll go back to the Java. You can see here, this method's getting called. Here we're using our system user. We're getting a session here. And then we're using the node JCR just to uh, create a new node and then write out the um, submitted values.